of NACL, the enthalpy change or formation of NACL. So I can show you my direct and indirect, indirect route over here. I can go directly from the elements to NACL solid or I take the long route which is I, I go I go above then below and uh, for, so I go to the ions and from the ions I go to NACL solid. So now if you remember I said that delta HF naught is equal to delta H which was the culmination of all these steps till from the elements to the gaseous ions so this was the all these steps were contributing to delta H plus lattice energy so if I want to calculate lattice energy I make lattice energy the subject and this becomes delta H F naught minus delta H so in this case it will be delta HF naught minus uh, sorry the bracket I should have made it uh, let me just make it a little more clear so this will become delta H naught H naught F uh, yeah I slightly I made a mistake in writing H naught F so just forgive me for that and I just make it all right. Delta H not F. Delta H not F. And delta H not F minus. Now the first is the enthalpy change of atomization of sodium. Plus. Uh, of Na, so I'm writing Na over here, plus the enthalpy change of atomization of chlorine, Cl, plus the first ionization energy of of sodium, plus the first electron affinity of chlorine so delta H as I said it's a con it's co uh, the, all these enthalpy changes contribute to delta H so this is the formula for calculating the lattice energy of sodium chloride and first Ea let me just write first electron affinity of Cl so we have done this now let's do another example so now this time we have MgO which is magnesium oxide we have to form magnesium oxide and we have to calculate the lattice energy of magnesium oxide so first we will make a line which is Mg solid we start from the elements again always start from the elements Mg solid plus half O2 then we give energy so that we can make uh, I need to I, I should just leave some space so that I can write the enthalpy changes this is, this is fine so I write mg solid I start from the elements plus half O2 gas then we go up we give energy atomize the magnesium so this becomes Mg gas plus half O2 gas then this will become delta H naught ATM of Mg up again we give energy and this we atomize the oxygen so Mg gas plus O gas so this gives us delta H naught ATM 